Hey everybody, <laughs> it's uh, New Year's Eve here in the Philippines. It's uh, Friday afternoon and um, Lynn and I decided to go ahead and do the feeding today. We've already fed our group over an hour barangay. I'm not quite sure how many children it was today, maybe 75 there. And um, now we're going to the sawmill, but we had to stop and get more supplies because we had more children at our barangay than we anticipated. This place is just chaotic right now. I've been here almost six years and I've never seen it this busy. It's insane. <laughs> People's tempers are flaring, honking horns and everything. It's, uh, it's wild. But anyway, we're here, we're feeding the kiddos today. No better way in the world than uh, to spend the last day of the year feeding and helping children. Uh, this past week, we were able to send three bundles, maybe six, seven hundred pounds worth of Oka Oka used clothing uh, up north to uh, Typhoon O'Day or Odette victims. And uh, so we were blessed to be able to do that. We wished we could have sent more, but that's uh, right now our funding is not the best in the world. But, but we made do with what we had. And uh, so anyway, we're closing out this year, our last day of the year, we're feeding. And uh, that, that to me, there's no better way to finish out your year. You know, I uh, there's lots of opinions out there. There's lots of doctrines out there, Christian doctrines on, on this, that, you know, and all these different things. And, and everybody fights over what you have to do to be saved. And everybody's ideologies are based around being saved from burning in hell from all eternity. And you see, when people do that, they're sinning. They're missing the mark. That's what sin means, is to miss the mark. People are missing the mark. The Jews were missing the mark, sinning, by believing that their works justified them before the Lord. The works of their hands, the law, the 613 laws of Moses. And today, people, there's some that, that are, are total grace, you know, and uh, uh, it's just a matter of belief and you're saved from hell. And then there's those that still want you to keep parts of the law and you're saved from hell. That word saved in Greek means to be healed. And whenever you're healed, whenever you've, you've come, whenever you've been anointed with the Christ, the Holy Spirit, that's when you're healed because that's when you realize that it was never anything about you. It's always been about finding God in you and then letting God be God in you and doing His works through you. When you do that, you no longer miss the mark. And whenever you've, you've been in the presence of God, you've met God, I can assure you, you will never sin, miss the mark again because you will never believe that there's anything you can do to make God happy. I know in my case, it was God that took away the taste of drugs and alcohol. It was God that took away the depression. It was God that gave me this new, this new drive in life to do what I'm doing here now. It had nothing to do with me. None of the strength comes from me. And so people ask me, you know, well, I want that. You know, well, the best way to get started on that is just to love people. Love people without judging people. That's how they will know that you are my disciples. That's what Jesus says, is because you will have love for one another. There's an old Indian saying, this, this story, and there was this Indian guru, and he saw some of his disciples fighting amongst each other, and they were shouting. And he told them, he, he, he said, why do you shout? You're sitting right next to each other. You see, whenever we have hate for one another, and we're angry with one another. Even though we're sitting next to each other, our hearts are farther apart. So we have to shout to make sure that they hear you. That's a trip, you think about that. The farther heart way your hearts are, the louder you are towards one another, even though you're sitting right next to each other because when two people are in love, they talk softly to each other. Distance is an illusion. Love one another. Give unconditionally. If you see somebody that needs that's hungry, feed them. If they need clothes, get them clothes. If you have the, the means to do it. Love people unconditionally. 
Don't judge people by the letter of what you think your Christian doctrine tells you people, how they should look, how they should act, okay? Just share the love of God with them and let God do the work that needs to be done in them. Anyway, we're closing out this year with love, sharing the love of God with these children, and uh, I pray that you guys bring in the new year and we all start this new year off in love. Perfect love casts out all fear. And whenever you can walk in perfect love, you're healed, you're saved. I love you all. God bless. Happy New Year. Yeah, we just finished feeding. Yeah, we just finished feeding. 
Okay, happy good. New Year. I hope all our New Year is happy. <laughs> Amen.